Hi guys, Ben here from Wedgings Fitness. In this video, we're gonna cover how to build your own running program. Uh, this is assuming that you're pretty much a beginner at running or you don't do a lot of it, and that you wanna build up some sort of endurance capacity, uh, whether that's to run your first 5K or 10 or going up to a marathon. Uh, this is a similar <clears throat> process to what I'm using to do the Ironman. And like I said before, I wasn't really a regular runner, didn't just enjoy going up for a run. So I've really had to follow this to incorporate into my running for the Ironman. So to start with, take it really, really easy. Focus on building the habit, first of all. Um, it's better that you would go out three or four times a week for 10 minutes rather than once for an hour, for example. And that just gets your body used to it. <clears throat> it sets it into your schedule and, and builds that habit, which is really important. Number point number two is to look after your body and pay attention to any niggles that come up. So even if you've completed all the um, other videos that we've done with the technique and your technique's really good, it's still a new stress for your body and it's still going to be different. So your body needs to adjust to that. So just take it really easy. Like I said, those 10 minutes a day and just build it up, build it up gradually, um, which is the next point, build gradually. So maybe next week you want to add a bit more so add around 10 percent don't go over 10 percent so if you can keep adding 10 percent 10 percent that 10 percent is going to compound um, rather than just going right i've got it now two hours and just doubling it incorporate some strength training and prehab exercises into your routine because obviously that will prevent injuries from occurring and just make your body stronger um, so those are really good. We've got loads of those on our YouTube channel or you can contact us and we can put together a program for you. Um, and focus on the running as a skill. We've been talking about that already in some of the other videos, but think about the skill when you're running. Try not to have your headphones in <clears throat> unless your headphones has a, a metronome on it. Uh, think about what you're doing when you're running. It really, really helps. And I used to run with music a lot and now I don't run with any music at all because I'm actually really thinking about my posture and what I'm doing whilst I'm running. Um, I've been using heart rate zones and time. Now that means that I know that I will always go for a run at zone two heart rate, which is a level of heart rate. So I'm, I know I'm working at a particular intensity uh, or it might be more than that or less than that. It depends on the day. But um, it's much better to know in terms of your own time management that you're only going to be running for an hour then that you've got to run for 10k um, because some days you aren't going to feel so good so you need to listen to that and maybe take it a bit more easy and you know you're still running for an hour so you can go out for half an hour and come back and you know you're done um, so those are the main points for building up your program or points to consider i take monday as a rest day but you don't have to do that uh, Tuesday can be a run. Now I haven't put times on there, but I have put zone two. So it means you're running at zone two. This is for only endurance uh, people. So if you're trying to go um, into zone three, it's building a slightly different energy pathway. So just stick with zone two. And if you go into zone three, just walk. As long as you're out for however long you're starting with, it could be 10 minutes, could be 30 minutes, could be an hour, depends on where you're at the moment. Um, then zone two, is a nice steady state endurance um, uh, heart rate for you to be in. Okay, I've added in some strength and conditioning. So on a Wednesday, do some strength and conditioning. Don't want to be just running all all week. Uh, back to running on uh, where are we at Thursday. Strength and conditioning again, and then running on Sunday. And you could go for slightly longer than that. If you wanted to add another stretching or strength and conditioning on your Sunday, and then you could go. Uh, you can add that in there. This one is zone one to two, so zone one is a little bit easier. So you're taking it a bit, a bit of an easier run on a Saturday. Just quickly, Sorry, Saturday. you said first of all Saturday. Sorry? You said first time Saturday. Saturday. You said Sunday, I'm sorry. Saturday here, Sunday here. Yeah, sorry, I don't know what I said. Uh, Sunday is the flexibility day. So in there, just make sure you're addressing all those niggles and stuff. And you can do a bit more on that on Monday. Um, but this should be, you know, get, get it done in the morning as well, which is nice. Uh, time to start the day, start, start your day in a nice run. And that's what roughly is my program. Obviously for the Ironman, I'm adding in swimming and bike, biking in there as well. So um, yeah, nice little start to running, build your own program from there, add 10% next week, get 10% more on. You could do like, you know, whatever, half hour, half hour, 45 minutes, whatever the 10% equation is, um, and then add 10%. 
All right, if you've got any questions, I'm sure there's lots, just pop them in below or send us a message, ben at wateringsfitness.com. Thanks for watching.